Anyhow, goes short and been thumped out of the ground. Well, he's just taken a good catch. And then he comes into bowl, hoping to carry on the good work. But a short one doesn't cut it to Rodman Pout, not at 65 miles an hour. And that's gone miles. Down leg side, that'll race away. Ten of the first two. Ah! Ah! Peel, maybe just down leg, but the the idea was to flip this away over a fine leg. It's on the ground with power and goes all the way. Rovman Paul is a no-nonsense player in T10. Gets another six. Jeez, look at that power. Slower ball, but in the slot. And you don't pull slot balls to that man, Powell. Up and over. Lot squarer. Goes all the way for six. 39 sixes now in his T10 career. Right up there with the best, Rodman Park. Well, that is what you call Calypso cricket. Darren Ganga, you've got a smile in your face. That is West Indian cricket at its best. Clipped away. And another. That's spicy from Rodman Paul. Just a little bit of whippage. bit obvious from Howell you can spot that slow ball a mile off I think Powell and he was hanging back waiting for that to bounce up so he could swat it away over the leg side from Ross Whiteley cost them the game but Rodman Paul he's got other plans Paul has a good chance of climbing through the offside pierces the gap Samit Patel was looking for that, and his captain shows him how to do it. Goes through. Johnson Charles reacted quite late. He was blinded. Went through the legs of Rodman Paul. Gone for a sixer. 50 up his fourth in T10. It's a rare real moment, surely you want to keep this one. Look at that ball go. I think they're both very pleased out there in the middle. Powell, boy, he's on fire. <laughs> Sounded sweet. Travels the distance all the way for a sugary six. Well, we said he's looking to capitalise on these last four deliveries. Managed to get 10 of two. With that absolute monster. This gives himself a little bit of room, getting deep into the crease to get under the ball. Didn't have to do a lot because it was a full toss.